Just wanted to do a real quick video of this uh, smokehouse that I built. It's a going to be a cold smoker. I'm going to build a firebox over here. Um, I've been working out of the back of the Samurai this uh, Suzuki uh, workbench. Um, the piping will go here. I'll build a firebox down here. I got to move all these bricks out of the way. Uh, and then the pipe will run up through that cinder block and inside. Um, I just got a bunch of old skids that were two by sixes and four by fours. And it ended up working out to the exact number of boards. The door is uh, plywood. I don't have it hinged yet. It's just kind of screwed up there. I started making some hinges. They're going to look like that. Uh, so I blacksmithed that out. And then I just got to make, um, got to make the opposite side that'll attach in here. And then these ones will go along the walls on that side. And then some sort of handle latch I'll make for it. But just want to do a real quick video. My plan is to, uh, cure a couple of hams this year. And, um, I'm just going to do the dry curing and basically country hams. So we'll see how it goes. I took the torch and I, uh, you know, torched the door to bring the grain out. And then it did all the walls, but uh, this wood's, I think it's too hard of a wood. You really couldn't pull the grain out of it. But this is why I just wanted to show a real quick video. Uh, I'm going to try to do a couple of videos about the hams and I'm going to try to cure some bacon too. So I've uh, been planning this for a few years and it just kind of came together when I stumbled onto the wood. So thanks for watching. If you like this sort of stuff, please like and subscribe. You can ding the bell down there, wherever it is. I don't ring the bell for anything, but you know, if you're into that, go for it. But here it is. It's about four foot by four foot and about seven feet tall, I think. All right. Thanks for watching.